it was like a very inspirational, motivational, like feel good song. You know, the type of song that we all need when we're feeling, you know. Hey, what's up? It's Stash And Alex. And we're here doing a reaction. Who are we reacting to? Uh, J01. We, we've reacted to J01 before now, I think. Yeah, we have. So yeah. if you guys don't know, J01, or J01, we still haven't figured it out, is a J-pop group that uh, came from the survival show um, Produce 101, mm -hmm. I believe. So they had like a Japanese version of that show, and so this is where the, the group came from. We did, like you mentioned, react to their Monstar performance video, so mm. if you haven't checked that out, um, be sure to check that out after this video. I'll link it in a card or in the description or both. So yeah, we're going to get into Joe One, Shine a Light. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. I'm liking the Visco aesthetic. Visco? <laughs> Man, there is a lot of light in this video. <laughs> yeah, well, it says shine a light. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. I'm getting like motivational, inspirational vibes from this already. Yeah. It's like a good feel good song. Oh, I love his, ber uh, what do you call it, beret? 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 Beret. Beret? <laughs> That's the little I know. thing. <laughs> I'm loving the outfits in this. They're like super simple, but mm. very stylish. You like his shorts? They're like interesting. They're like pleated. And they look pleated. I miss them though. I'll have to keep an eye out for them. Oh, that's a cool stage. Mm-hmm. That guy's shirt is confusing to me. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like braided almost. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, I like this. This is cool. Yeah, it is cool. Makes them look like superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got those jackets on again with the stars. That must be their symbol or something. Mm. Oh, some floor work? Okay. They're smooth. They are, yeah. I mean, choreography is super, like, synchronized. Mm-hmm. Wow. Very cool. Shine a light. It was like a very inspirational, motivational, like, feel-good song. You know, the type of song that we all need when we're feeling, you 2020. know. 2020. <laughs> <laughs> when we're feeling 2020, I guess. Uh, you know, just like reach for the stars, reach for mm -hmm. your dreams, that kind of thing. Um, so it was really cool. The video itself was like very aesthetically pleasing. Like I noticed this, I joked that it was like a visco aesthetic, but mm -hmm. you know, it was really cool to see that like pretty um, uh, sky, like backlit with like the mm -hmm. purplish, um, sorry, purplish blue. Um, so that was really cool. What do you, what do you think about it? 
Uh, I really like the set design. I think it it's it's super clean. Mm -hmm. I think it really fits the aesthetic of the song well. Mm -hmm. Don't know if you noticed this, but the opening scene, they have a metro station that's like all pristine and then at various points they have it more like taken over by plants and wilderness, Yeah, which is interesting to me. There was like some uh, sort of flooding too at a certain point. Did you notice that? Yeah, I mean, it feels a lot like a, like a visual story of like purity with nature being the benchmark for purity. Mm. So it's like the complex city life being taken over by nature. Mm. Um, and I really like that kind of message going along with the song. I think it's also great that they decided to use light as such a resource in this music video. Literally everything in this music video is either reflective or just completely obscured by light. Uh, they've got the one scene where they're dividing everyone up into different, like, light spectrum aspects. We've got this opening scene which kind of gives you a good idea of shining light because there's just all sorts of reflective surfaces mm -hmm. in this. Even the things that in a normal city would not be reflective at all are mm -hmm. reflective in this, like the street. Like, no street in the city looks like this. This is amazingly pure and, and like, perfect and fresh. Well, you know, they are... I'm, I think in Japan. Yeah. So maybe streets in Japan the look like this. Might be reflective in Japan. Uh, we've got this kind of like night scene oh, here. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, oh my gosh. Where you're getting all of the starlight, and this has obviously been a little bit manipulated to look a, you know, more intense than it would. Right. But if you've ever been in a place like northern Maine or just some place where there aren't that many people and you go out at midnight on a night when there isn't like moonlight like the sky can literally look like this yeah with zero light yeah, pollution absolutely yeah. no light pollution mm -hmm. and like a brand new moon so it's black out mm -hmm. like this is what the sky can look like mm -hmm. so i think they did a really good job of kind of incorporating that kind of like purity of nature oh, into it juxtapose here. Juxtapose with like the city Juxt escape. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I think it's a really nice comparison image that they have here. Very cool. And then I didn't even remember seeing this, but now that you pointed this out to me, I'm like, this might be my favorite scene. It's so pretty. Well, and they do lots of those, like the two different kinds of lights, like this mm. scene right here. They do talk about starlight a lot in the mm. song. And so it makes sense that they'd have both the daylight and the nighttime light yeah uh incorporated in the video there's a lot of really nice contrasts in this uh music video the stage was awesome yeah obviously the stage let's see if we can get a good image oh that's pretty cool that's that's a pretty decent one it's not the swirling lights which i feel like they used more often yeah. but i think this is still another really good kind of image um where they're they're really doing the kind of like duality of light here of light and darkness they're all dressed in white or close to it. Mm, or a sky blue. The sky blue. Wait, is he or like an angel here? He's like completely backlit here. Like, it's When I look at so, this, I'm like, is this supposed to be like heaven? Yeah, it's so <laughs> overwhelmingly filled with mm -hmm. light. It's just the bare minimum of like rock or, or it's probably paper mache in this case, but it's absolutely like minimalistic scenery around him. At first glance, I would have just... I thought that these were like wings or something mm. the only time i see this kind of like lighting is when uh there's a depiction of like heaven mm -hmm. in media so because of the cuts were so fast <clears throat> i just look at this and was like oh maybe he's an angel or something yeah i mean it's <laughs> it's really it, to it's, me it's not clear exactly what the like um grayish mm -hmm. part is i i love the minimalist like cuts here where there is just like it's just him and just light and it really just drives home the the, the feeling message, of the song yeah. and then of course we get this right here i love just this, this like this gradient of colors mm -hmm. that they're all divided into oh you know that is a callback to an earlier part in the video someone was holding like a prism mm -hmm. okay yeah. yeah and they do this very cool shift where you get to, oh, you can kind of cool. start to see it there. And they kind of shift out and show you that it's actually built into the set. Clearly a projector that's putting this on 
them. Overall, I, I think this video is absolutely gorgeous the way they've shot it. The video is beautiful, the messaging was beautiful, the visuals were beautiful, so everything. You mean the people? Yes, or? the okay. people. <laughs> We're also good looking. So thanks again, guys, for um, recommending this group. How many other videos you'd like us to watch by Joe One? We're on board. We definitely want to check them out. So if you like this video, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Share this with your friends. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye.